So that took a long ass time, finally got all the crystal shards we need for the new crystal armor. And for some reason the OS Buddy prices list these crystal armor seeds at like 1.8 mil. But they're definitely not 1.8 mil. Let's take a look at this. Pretty much had to pay the same for all of these, just under 1.6 mil. It's a little annoying, Wiki doesn't really show where this pool is where you make this armor. But it's just right here under the POH. Whew, crafting and smithing, holy crap that's a lot. One body. This is even more. Jeez, that's a lot of XP. Finally, we got it. Let's take a look at how it looks. So on its own, it's not too cool looking. It's not really detailed. But I did notice the helmet is kind of weird because it's 26 magic defense. It's the highest in-game of any helmet. Other than that, it's pretty much worse than Dragonhide. Like, the attack bonus is the same, but it's got lower defense than Dragonhide. And also with the chaps, I think that's the same. Defensive bonus is a little bit closer. It's not too bad looking as a set, I guess. It's kind of flashy. All I'm going to do for this one is use a potion and rigor. This is the base hit right here of a crystal bow is 30. I thought it was a little higher than that. So with the anguish and the assembler, we can hit 32s. Let's try the void set. 36. Okay, that seems about right. Let's see what it hits with the solve amulet. 42. That's pretty high. All right, let's try this set bonus. No amulet bonus. 35. Holy crap, this is going to own. So this is what it should be able to hit on players when I put the anguish on. 36 on players, so what can it hit on undead? 42, the exact same max hit as Void. That's kind of disappointing. There is one more option. We can use just the crystal body and the legs and use a Slayer helmet. This may hit a little higher. Let's see. Okay, not even close. So that's actually a little disappointing. So the crystal set has the same max as literally the Void set. But the crystal set has the accuracy bonus, so it has something going for it. You should probably take note, I don't know why they made this like this, but you don't actually use the charges on the armor when you're firing the bow, only when your tanking hits. So I'm going to test this out in Clan Wars, because I do want to use the best gear I could possibly use, and I'm not down the risk as much money. And what I'm going to be doing is switching to full void every time I dark bow spec. I'm getting destroyed right off the bat. Bro, this has no defense at all. Good thing I didn't take this into the wild. Dude, there's nothing, there's no defense here. It's almost like it provokes max hits or something, too. Haha, <laughs> look at this, dude! Oh my god, is this... <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's try this again. This guy doesn't have amazing defense bonus. Is he barraging me? What the hell? Okay, I don't know why I'm even turning that on. That's not going to do anything for me. Okay, so I'm hitting something. That was a pretty big hit. 31. Okay, he's going to get dropped in a second here. Okay, that was pretty good. That That's not a death, though. on the ropes. He can one hit me. Oh, I just ate what my HP was. Pretty much like a ticky, except for tick eating is not possible now. So I don't really have KO potential. I probably should have brought a ballista. Oh shit. I pretty much have no options now. Like he's just gonna one hit me with something. Is that there it is? Yes. Okay, so maybe my friends are just really strong. I'm going to go after some Randys and see if I can hit better. Crystal. <laughs> it's fancy. It's fancy, but it's garbage at the same time. I missed my gloves, but he got destroyed still. Oh, I didn't... I thought the guy was on me. My bad. My, oh, I killed him anyway. So in the PvP scene, it's not looking too good for Crystal Armor. It takes 70 defense. If it took maybe like 45 defense, maybe it'd be okay. Especially considering how hard to obtain this armor is. Pretty unlikely spot, I thought of Barrows. And the reason why is it meets two criteria. They have high defense and they're undead so I can use a Solve Amulet. And the unique thing I want to try is just ranging all the brothers. So here we go. I think I'm going to tank the first hit. Kind of makes sense. I got Vengeance with me. And we're going to test the magic defense of this armor. So far, hitting 
Well, not hitting any zeros, but I don't expect to. Because this is a rims. Shouldn't have any range defense. There's a zero. Uh, that was not too bad. Just to pop that Venge. He's a single spec. That's not bad. Okay, immediately the blowpipe's already better. And this is the true test right here. These are the ones with the fence. Oh, very first hit, we hit a 16. At least it's something. Okay, two for two, three for three. Okay, this isn't bad at all. I mean, considering we're ranging and this has massive range defense. That was not bad. Now we're on to Toreg. This one has the highest range defense of anything in here. 25 off the bat. I can see the range defense doing something. Wow. Crazy, dude. That's not bad at all. Jeez. Dude, that's not bad. Let's go. Nothing special. So the next boss is Vorkath, obviously, as you can see here. The reason why I chose this boss is you can use a Solve Amulet. And we're not going to be using a defensive lowering weapon. We're just going to be using a Blowpipe spec. Because with the set bonus, you get a 30% accuracy bonus. And I think that'll be enough. And if you look at our defenses, we're kind of low on range. So I'm going to be praying range most of the time. Hopefully I don't get defired out. I just want to get one kill, and if I can get an under two minute kill, that'd be insane. But you can't even wooks walk with this method, I'm not going to cheat with the blowpipe either. So according to the maxing bag, our max hit is 42, and this should have a bit of accuracy. This is also the speed of like a whip. We got a zero off the bat. Be a nice little two. Okay, it's not doing too great, is it? Okay, there's a hit. 37, not bad. 19, okay, it's back to back to back hits. Okay, it's not, it's not the worst thing I've seen. 42, there's our max. You know, I've definitely had slower kills than this. Wow, not bad. Kill it, kill it, kill it in time, yes. That was probably under like two and a half. Uh, it was almost three minutes, but it still wasn't too bad for what I expected. So I do happen to have a Hydra's task, and this is going to be kind of cringe because I do own a T-Bow and I'm used to killing it like that. So we're going to have like a three minute kill, but this gear is supposed to be tier 70 and locked behind a master quest. So essentially this should have been good enough to do Hydra. We'll find out. Also, Hydra's defense is really low, so you're not even going to take advantage of the 30% accuracy. Probably should have waited till that came over here. Oh, pretty decent hit, 34. Oh man, I forgot an anti-poison. Lame. Jeez, this is hitting horrible. Big hit could be a kill. Nope. There's the kill. And we got 3 minutes and 43 seconds. Honestly, I think I could have done better with a magic short bow. I know for certain that there are better alternative gear setups for killing rune dragons. However, I think this will do pretty good because they do have a bit of defense. And with that 30% accuracy bonus, I think that'll make a difference. And once again, nobody uploaded killing rune dragons with this setup. So let's go. Okay, we hit a 28 very first hit. That's not too bad. Okay, okay, fair enough. Can't say it's incredibly accurate. Probably should have brought a blowpipe for spec. But I can't see myself staying for more than a couple kills. This is going on two minutes, this kill alone. Finally. Okay, never again. So we're going to do a little comparison. My buddy's got the conventional setup. Let's look at his stats. 92 range, but he also has rigors, so... Uh, he should be hitting a little bit better than me, honestly, but if I hit better than him, I'll be surprised. Oh wow, what is that? A 34 right off the bat. That's a 20, not bad. Jeez. Quite good, jeez, what is that? A 35. 
getting a little torn up, though. I don't have enough range defense, I think, is what it is. That was not bad. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, what is that? What is that? 36. Another 36. Jeez, it's very accurate. I'm not going to lie. Man, this is actually really good. Why is it so good here and not other places? So it's definitely pretty good. I've gotten every single kill so far. All right, last little HP. Come on. Yeah, he finished it. No way! Dude, I get one every trip. Consistently every trip. Watch, I'm calling it now. He snipes a pet. Ooh. That's a weird drop. I ended up getting the first five kills. He finally got a kill here. We lasted like 15 kills. He only got a few of them. So I would say this is more DPS than a standard crossbow setup. But it's kind of hard to say because he is 92 range. And I'm sure we could have stayed a lot longer if he traded me some food, but this setup is not tanky at all. I'm going to try a range only kill at Zolra. I want to see if this can hit on the non-blue phases, you know, the Jad, the Melee, and the Ranger. Because typically people only range the blue phase. Unless, of course, they have a T-Bow. Hitting bad already. And if I need it, I will use the Blowpipe for spec. And I do have a ring switch also. You know, I did forget Anti-Venom. That actually sucks. Okay, well that is not bad. Wow. Look at that, dude. That's not bad at all. This poison is absolutely murking me right now. Dude, that's a 210. That's not even bad. I'm going to try one more kill. 209. Pretty consistent. And what the hell kind of loot is that? 101 scales, 35 skins, and 2 dwarf weed seeds? That's as bad as it gets. Off to a good start. We haven't got the 1 out of 3 phase that people usually set a personal record on. And that's the one you primarily range. So this is the real test of accuracy for this bow because you're really only supposed to range the blue guy. This kill went horribly wrong but we still managed to get a 227 time. So here's my opinion of this Crystal Gear setup. It's not horrible, but it's not amazing either. Things like a blowpipe, a twisted bow, and even a crossbow devalue this gear setup. And you can't really take advantage of a Slayer helmet because you only get partial bonus and you don't get the set bonus on top of that. Overall, this set is not best in slot anywhere. In my opinion, there are three reasons why this deserves to be better. One of the reasons is you gotta do a master quest. That involves Regicide, Roving Elves, all those other quests before it, and some skills. Secondly, it requires 70 range and defense just to use this setup. And last of all, it takes like 10 or 15 hours just to get the shards to make this armor. Then you have to spend about 15 mil on crystal armor seeds, which also requires 74 smithing and crafting. And when it's all said and done, you got a subpar gear setup. After looking at this, I sort of want to destroy the armor now and get back my seeds, because I bought them around here at 2.4, and now they're freaking 3.6 almost. So instead of losing money, I'll be making a few mil. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Come check out the CC, and if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Peace out, guys. <laughs>